Hey Nathan, this is Ben here, just going over your video analysis of your swing here for the President's Day camp. Sorry about the weather. Uh, first time in 11 years we've been inside and I uh, just want to go through a, a couple things I see in your swing that we can uh, help you to the next level with your mechanics and things. So let's go ahead and get started here. A um, couple things that I really like on your start. I really like your hands where they are. They're nice and high. Um, I really like the fact that you can start high and really work downhill. One thing I do want to focus on is your levels of your eyes, and I'm going to just draw the line where you start, and we're going to just do a couple checkpoints here to make sure when I go down to swing, you can see how low I get, and that's going to be really big in order to get that very consistent. So when you start that high, and then at contact, you start that, go down to that low, uh, when the ball's moving and your head's moving, it makes it really difficult as you go up in levels to be very consistent. So what I would do, you can see that you start, your hands start really nice, but I would just take a more flex in your knees to get you more in between these two planes where your eyes are going to start more in this level or in this level. So by the time you make contact, you're in the same kind of area as where you started. Your eyes should start and finish at the same area. So right now your eyes are going to start here. And as I go into my swing, you can see at the end of our swing, your head finishes down here, and then let's see if you come back up. You can see at the end you kind of come back up uh, a little bit. But So that's going to be a big, make a big difference as you get older in regards to making sure as that ball's moving and you're facing guys throwing, you know, close to 90 miles an hour with breaking balls. If your head's moving, it's going to be really hard to hit a ball that's already moving. So just be really cautious of that. The other thing I want to focus on next is that front foot or what's called your land foot. So I'm going to draw a big little circle right here, and I want you to focus on that, that front foot. So when I go ahead and land, you can see how that front foot really opens up. It's really important that that front foot stays closed, and you work kind of uh, into a firm front side when I hit. But as that opens up, it's going to open up that front hip. It's going to take that power away, and it's going to really make your swing be a lot of upper body. So at this point of our swing, I would have... Uh, the heel be more facing these guys over here that are waiting to take your swings uh, for the video analysis compared to right now your heel is facing over here. So typically you want that uh, heel to be facing at the third baseman and then your toe would be more facing uh, the first base coach or the, the first base dugout. But you can see right now it's almost pointed at the pitcher. So what that does, it transfers all the, the power into my arms instead of using my body. It, it, spins open this front hip right here, and a lot of your swing begins to fall apart when that front foot really opens up. So uh, one thing to, to really work on is to stay closed. I do like right here, you're in a good palm up, palm down position um, in regards to your heads on the baseball, and do a lot of good things right there. You have good uh, line from the dirt all the way up in to my head. I would want your head back a little bit. You can see how kind of your head's more on your front foot compared to your front knee compared to your back knee. Ideally right now you want your head to be on this line and you can see how it's a little bit forward. So just make sure at this point of our swing that you're going to really stay back. Um, I'm going to go back a swing or two here. Make sure when I go to swing uh, again that that front foot doesn't over rotate on you. I think on this swing it's your front foot kind of really opened up. You can see how that front foot really begins to open up and that exposes that front hip and everything kind of falls apart. So um, not bad at contact. See kind of how your head's a little bit forward. You want to make sure that, that that head stays on that back leg. See the head's just a little bit forward on that. Um, and then that kind of foot over rotates here. You can see right now that the the back heel kind of rotated too far and that front foot spun open and the head is looking out to there. Ideally at this part of our swing, um, you want that back knee to go into the front knee. You want that heel not to over rotate. You just want it to be able to stay in the ball of our foot. You want to keep that front side closed uh, and more pointed at the first base dugout and you want your head at contact to kind of leave your head in the hitting area and that's going to help you hit all parts of the field. So. I think all those things are going to make a, a pretty big difference in our swing. For, as far as for drills, what I would do, I would focus on a lot of T work. Um, I would first start and get like a big mirror either in 
uh, your bathroom or in the garage or at the gym just without a bat and just focus on swinging and starting and ending at the same eye level. So put a piece of tape or a piece of masking tape or something where you can kind of know where you started with your eye level so you can really make sure that you're starting and ending at the same, um, same plane where you're not going up and down in your levels. The other thing I'd work on off, off of T is just focusing on uh, hitting and then holding your finish. I would at contact, I would stop, and I'd make sure that your 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 head's on your back leg, and that you have uh, good separation in our knees, that your front foot didn't spin open, that your eye level didn't change, uh, and then after contact, you should be able to just kind of hold your finish, make sure your head's still out contact, and once you get all those things to retrain your your key work and then your soft toss, then it's going to roll into your live and into your game. So. Those are the things that are going to help you get a lot more consistent that you're going to need to do kind of going into these, this next level of the game, uh, going into that uh, later high school period of time. Guys will throw the ball really hard uh, because you have the size and the, and the tallness and uh, the lankiness to, to do a lot of good things in this. But we just got to get our, our mechanics a little bit more uh, consistent in things, and, and it will really help you out. So have a great season. Thanks for coming to camp, and uh, we look forward to having you next year.